Hi guys, welcome to Sabondi Academy. In today's video, we'll be solving the question one of the 2020 NovDEC Quasi Commerce Theory questions. So we'll begin with question 1A. The following statements are true of a certain school. X is such that all the good students in English language are in the debating club. Y is such that there is no student below 15 years in the debating club. I. Draw a Venn diagram to represent the statements B and Y. I. I. Determine whether the following conclusions are valid or not valid. Alpha. Sandra is in the debating club implies that Sandra is not good in English. Beta. Okoye is not good in English language implies that Okoye is below 15 years. And Gamma. Peter is not below 15 years implies that Peter is in the debating club. So let's begin with our solution. So first we have our X. So all good students in English language are in the debating class. So we are seeing that all good students are a subset of the debating class. And then why we are saying that there is no students below 15 years in the debating class. So below 15, not in debating class. Okay, and we are being asked to represent this on a Venn diagram. So we have a big circle. Then we have our X and our Y. Then in our X, we have this. So this red circle represents all students in the debating class. And this represents all students that are not below that are below 15 and not in the debating class. And then this blue triangle represents students that are good in English. Okay. So this will be it when we represent the information on a Venn diagram. Now on I, I, it says, determine whether the following conclusions are valid or not valid. Alpha, Sandra is not in the debating class, implies that Sandra is not good in English. Now we know that all the good students are in the debating class. And so if Sandra is good in English, then she should be in the debating class. So if Sandra is not in the debating class, then it means Sandra is not good in English. And so this statement is valid. So alpha is valid. Now beta. Okoye is not good in English and Okoye is below 15 years. Now we didn't say that from why we know that there is no student below 15 years in the debating class. But then we, don't, we didn't say that there's no student below 15 years who is good in English. So what this means is that there's no relation between being below 15 years and being good in English. There's a relation between being below 15 years and being in the debating class. But there's no relationship between being below 15 years and being below and being good in English language. And so I'll say that we haven't been provided with all the statements to justify if this is valid. And so as it stands now, this is invalid. So our beta will be invalid because we don't have a complete information to justify. Now, Peter is not below 15 years implies Peter is in the debating class. 
Okay, so we know that there is no student below 15 years in the debating class. So those in the debating class are over 15 years. But then there's another criteria for determining if the if a student is in a debating class, and that is if the student is good in English language. But here we've been given the age, but we don't know whether Peter is good in English or not. So we can't justify if Peter is in the debating class or not. And so this statement is invalid. So that will be it for question one. So we're moving on to question one B. List all the subsets of the set X is equal to seven eleven. So to find the number of possible subsets of a set, we use two raised to the power n, where n is the number of elements in our bigger sets or in our universal set. So here the number of elements is two. So this will be. 2 raised to the power 2, which is 4. So it means that if we should find all the subsets of set X, we should get 4 sets. So we can say that the subsets will be this. We have an empty bracket. Then we have 7. Then we have 11. And then we have 7 and 11. So we have four subsets of this set. So this brings us to the end of question one of the 2020 NovDEC core mass theory questions. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe as well.